although I'm on the record saying that I believe that the New England Patriots are truly America's team and not the Dallas Cowboys. We don't care about that. Okay. <laughs> what? I've often talked about how Tom Brady will tap dance in the pocket like the late Gregory Hines, you God do. rest Good. his soul. I'll applaud that and, line. And, and, it's been and, like three months that, since that's I heard right. that. That's and, right. And, and, yeah. and, and when you put pressure on him, yeah. uh, definitely I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely on the money. I mean, he tap dances with the best of them. There's yeah. no doubt about it. And he is certainly not that bad man that he is, okay. Aaron Rodgers, no. who's a bad man. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. He's the best in the game. I love me some Aaron Rodgers. There's no quarterback, including Peyton Manning, mm. that I would take ahead of Aaron Rodgers. I'm sorry. He's a bad man. Now, having said all of that. <laughs> Why are you giggling? It is blasphemous to say okay, this about good. Thank Tom you. Okay, it really, really okay. is. The man it, has it, seen it, the light. Listen, 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 listen. I can mess with Tom Brady all I want to. I'm not nothing compared to how I mess with the Dallas Cowboys. But this dude is an elite quarterback of the highest order. Over the last four seasons, they've won at least 12 games. They've won at least 12 games over six over, uh, of six over the last eight seasons. Tom Brady, yes, he has been without a Super Bowl championship since 2004. But when I look at some of the pieces he has had to work with, uh -huh. I mean, obviously Randy Moss came in in 2007, but this is a man that won Super Bowls with Troy Brown and those guys, not to knock them because they could play. But I'm just saying in terms of the elite receivers in the game, he's never had them outside of Randy Moss. When you look at last year, the Julian Edelmans of the world, after you let go of the Wes Welkers of the world, okay, you got Ridley as your running back, or it was Blanc depending on who was in uh, Bill Belichick's doghouse. The list goes on and on. The fact is, is that Tom Brady is what enabled you to remain afloat, particularly when the defense on so many occasions was more than suspect to be kind. And which is egregious, by the way, considering the greatness of Bill Belichick, the fact that defense is his signature, the fact that he won Super Bowls as a coordinator on the defensive side of the ball, how their defense has suffered so much over the years mm -hmm. is something that he has to be called on the carpet for. And I say that respectfully because I know about the greatness of Bill Belichick and I don't question it, mm -hmm. okay? But Tom Brady... Was, is, was and is phenomenal. Yeah. And the fact that people will point to, well, pressure, he's only complete 45% of his passes when he's under pressure. And blah, blah, stop it. Here's my bottom line. I'm going to roll with my boy Skip on this when we talk about the eye test. Huh. That Super Bowl against the Seattle Seahawks, I don't oh, think that yeah, would have no. happened like that no, if Tom Brady, Brady yeah, was the quarterback. Right. Now, right. I'm not blaming Peyton Manning. Because you had dudes that were petrified. They were scared to death. And they know who they are in the Denver Broncos. They should be ashamed of themselves. And by the way, even though I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to accuse him of being scared, there is still an APB out for the now New York Jets wide receiver, Eric right. Decker, who was a member of the Denver Broncos at the time. Yep. We saw him before the yes. Super Bowl because he did an interview. We saw him, <laughs> we heard about him after the uh -huh. Super Bowl because there was a quote. So there is evidence he that there. he was there at MetLife Stadium, except for those 60 minutes minutes when the game was actually taking place because we couldn't find it, okay? And all I'm saying is, even though that's the case, Peyton Manning looked incredibly rattled. And, and I don't blame him because the defense was legit and nobody was getting open. But I just don't believe that with Tom Brady as your quarterback, that it goes down like that. I'm not saying New England would not have lost because I believe they would have. But they wouldn't have went down like that. They wouldn't have gone down like that. So, to me, Tom Brady is still elite. I don't want to hear anything about a decline because, to be quite honest with you, I don't think it's fair to, to try and quantify that when you, when you strip the man of his weapons. Right. Give him some weapons who are healthy on the field with him, then come talk to me about what Tom Brady is and is not. Okay. Not but to fair. underline what you pointed out, you did repeat your late, great Gregory Hines line. Tap, dance. yeah. Tap dances. And once upon a time on this network, our friend Ryan Clark uttered the infamous quote that Brady sees ghosts. And that's the way the Steelers viewed Tom Brady. And by the way, against the Steelers. And isn't that last when he dropped 55? Oh, well, he was mad. When he dropped 55? He, he over 400 yeah. last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Look, they all see ghosts. 
Peyton Manning sees ghosts too. He just sees them faster than Tom Brady does because Peyton gets rid of the ball quicker than Tom, who will hang in and try to make a play that he probably shouldn't try to make. Now, back to the article at hand. I do not know Sam Monson, so I don't want to make this sound like some kind of personal attack on him. <clears throat> I'm sure he's a fine fellow. Uh -huh. But after I read his statistical breakdown of Tom Brady, and I emphasized the word breakdown because it was, I had to get up and walk around the room about <laughs> three cool times off, just then. to calm okay, down. Okay. <laughs> because I'm saying, time out. And to tell you the graph that I fixated on, the paragraph, could we put that up right now and let me read this? This is right in the middle of his statistical breakdown. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere, he says, people point to the lack of his lack of receivers in 2013 as a reason for his comparative down year. But it's worth noting that it was also the poorest performance from the New England offensive line for several years. The unit posted its worst pass blocking efficiency figure, blah, 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 mm -hmm. since pro, this is pro football focus, is that yes, what called? Pro since football. pro football focus has been grading tape. And at best, the unit was in the middle of the pack when it came to protecting Tom Brady. Well, as I read this, I kept waiting for the but. People say he didn't have any receivers, but we shouldn't worry about that, or people I can show you how bad his offensive line was, but we should discount. No, he doesn't have any butts in here. He just right. lets this paragraph stand in the middle of the statistical breakdown, and it completely discredits and disqualifies, to me, the rest of his what opinion that we come away with from his statistical backup. So, to me, I'm going to say it again. This is laughable. I still think he is the best quarterback in mm -hmm. pro football, and I thought last year was Tom Brady's greatest year yet. Thank <laughs> you.